Have you ever thought about what the Bible has to say about our leaders? Perhaps you've had leaders that you liked in one season, and in another season, you've had leaders that you don't really like. My name is Orok Duke, and I serve on the team here at Hope City. Today, we'll be taking time out to pray for our leaders. But first, let's see what the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, from verse 1 to 2. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Here Paul instructs Timothy to pray for all people. Then he specifically mentions that Timothy should pray for all those in authority. These instructions also apply to us today. In other words, we should pray for our leaders. He goes on to let us know that this is a condition for peaceful and quiet lives. He doesn't state that we have to like our leaders in order to pray for them. He doesn't allow for personal preferences. None of this absolves us of any actions that God may be leading us to take. However, our first response ought to be prayer. Before we do anything else, let's pray for our leaders. Let's commit them into the hands of God. In the book of Proverbs 21, chapter 21, verse 1, the Bible says, In this Lord's hand, the king's heart is a stream of water that he channels toward all who please him. God has the ability and the power to direct the hearts of leaders. God's desire for us to have peaceful and godly societies is connected to our prayers for our leaders. We have leaders in all spheres of our lives, in our families, communities, places of work, church, government. Let's make a commitment today that we'll pray for these leaders first before we do anything else. Here are a few ways that we can pray for our leaders. Pray that God will give them wisdom so that they will make the right decisions aligned with God's will. Pray that God will surround our leaders with wise people who will help them to navigate complex issues. Pray that God will give our leaders courage, compassion, discernment, and clarity as they fulfill their leadership roles. Pray for divine protection for our leaders as they navigate their leadership responsibilities. As we pray for our leaders, we are demonstrating our faith in God and participating in what God is doing in our communities from neighborhoods to nations. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you today that we can gather together to lift up our leaders before you. Lord, we thank you because you are in control. And so we pray wisdom for our leaders. We pray that you give them discernment We pray that you surround them with the right leadership so that they can make good decisions. We pray that you equip them so that they can navigate the challenges that are placed before them. And above all, Lord, we know that as we pray for our leaders, we will live the quiet and peaceable lives that you've called us to live. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, it's been great hanging out with you today. Have a great rest of the day and join us again same time tomorrow.